Hey, folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. And that's Glenn. And today, we are going to take a look at The Warning doing their UK private show from May 2023, the electric part. We covered the acoustic part some months ago, but now we're doing the electric show, and this is the second installment. We really enjoyed the first installment, which included Unmendable, which was a real surprise, because at that point, they probably hadn't played it in four or five years. But now, today, we're going to be looking at Animosity and Choke, both favorites off the Error album, which, of course, they were in full swing uh, doing the Error tour at this point in time. This happens in Bush Hall, which is a fairly small venue. I'm told that it's kind of a narrow hall, (laughs) and it's got 400 or so capacity if you're standing. And apparently, The Who used to use it as a rehearsal space as well. I kind of wonder if that's the same room where they did uh, Join Together. All right. Let's hear it. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and check it out. I've already collapsed So I'll just drown my sorrows in a non-existent world I don't know what is worse The other ways of time were the eroding of my mind A life means to be dead I fall into a head The guilt faded away The anger passes away
it's uh, you know I noticed for the first time they're really getting the visual part of their show down pat. Just the way they move around and everything. Like you know, take the Who for example. They're kind of you know you see Keith playing the drums and like. Pete's jumping around doing the windmills and all that. And, uh, <laughs> it, and the warning is doing pretty much the same thing to a lesser degree. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think that they are more disciplined in how they're doing it than the Who was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah <it's> good observation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the Who was just playing off the rails frequently. I mean, because yeah. you had Daltrey there, and he would take his microphone, the corded microphone back in the day, and he'd be going like this. And people yeah, he'd like, be swinging it around and around above his head. They're like, look out, man. Like the front <laughs> row's looking out. I mean, I'm sure uh, Entwistle's standing way over on the side for that very reason, you know? Yeah. And there's just a lot of, it's a little bit more chaotic with the earlier guys. And, I mean, that wasn't lost on these newer rockers. I mean, they... The warning has made very clear that they are aware of the dangers of overindulgence that that uh, claims so many uh, famous rock musicians in the past, including Keith Moon, unfortunately, yeah, and John cool. Entwistle. Uh, he was a little older, but same thing. He had an overdose. That's yeah. that's what did him. And so they're avoiding that stuff, and they're doing it well. And they're not they're not taking anything away. They just they're they're wide awake and they're they're doing. You know, doing really well. I was looking at Pow actually and thinking, gosh, she's acting like an actress almost in a way. You're, uh, I've, I've heard Danny say something about maybe she would like to be a dancer or something like that if she wasn't in music. And uh, acting and photography and all that, these things seem to cross the minds of both Pow and Danny. And you can kind of see it in how they carry themselves on stage. They're, they're kind of giving us a full show. Pow in particular is so uh, emotive in everything she does. You know, it's it's pretty fascinating to watch, frankly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, Danny does it too, and it's like Danny, you never quite know when she's going to put her head up and then, you know, yeah. blast off, um, or do something, you know, sp- spontaneously interesting, and yeah. uh, and you know, not to disclaim Allie either. She does those dive yeah, even Allie, yeah, she moves around with the bass and everything, kind of. Well, you know, where she's like, she's up like this, and she's got her hair. You know, and she yeah. goes, boom, down on her knee. Oh, She's down yeah. there, and then she comes back up and flips the hair up again. Yeah. That's an alley move. They worked on that. I mean, because as you remember from the TED Talks, they didn't move much during the TED Talks. They, they were pretty much stationary. They actively worked on that and made it better, and they made it a lot better. They've really, they've got their own very distinct way of doing it now. I think yeah. that they've, they've uh, developed their own uni- original styles at this point. Yeah, yeah, I, I would agree. Yeah, so bravo to that. Yeah. All right, well, why don't we move on to the song Choke now? And of course, we've heard that many times and we like it. Danny hit some really amazing notes in this. So let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see how it looks here. Thank you very much. (laughs) Got it. All right. Guys, you have beautiful voices. Let me just say that. Okay, would you mind if I put those voices to the test? All right, so if you know this next song, please sing along with us. I won't say goodbye in the Hey! 
mentioned the video, the visual part before of their show, and now mm-hmm. we've got audience participation going on in the beginning of this track. So. Yeah, yeah. She's been doing that. I think she did that at the Teatro Metropolitan show, too, from the previous Probably. year. Yeah. Yeah, it's a part of their shows, and uh, Danny does it really well. She engages the audience really well. And you saw Allie doing her dive bombs there. And, and yep. <laughs> yeah, you know what you're talking about now. <laughs> yep, yep. She does it all the time, and it's great. Um, I, I don't really know any other bass player that does that, actually. So it's, yeah. uh, it's pretty unique. Yeah, so this was great. I love seeing those two songs. Uh, I know we've seen Choke a few times lately, and even Animosity, but um, it's it's wonderful to see them in this particular setting, you know, in the small crowd. They they clearly like mm-hmm. having the small crowd you know, in yeah. the palm of their hand, essentially. <laughs> and um, we're going to continue this show very soon. The next songs up are going to be Amor and Dust to Dust, so look forward to those. Haven't heard Amor in a long time. Definitely look forward to that. I hope you'll join us for that as well. In the meantime, uh, let us know what you thought about these two songs, this performance. Let us know if you were there, of course. Uh, Some people already have. Thanks very much. We are jealous. (laughs) We would have loved to have been there. Uh, Meanwhile, if you have other suggestions for us for other Pro Shop material for the future, please leave that below. Okay, and if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, and if you enjoyed the presentation, please subscribe. All right, thanks so much for joining us, folks, and we'll catch you on the next one, all right? Take care. See you all later.